Hey everyone, it's your girl. I'm Lorena. Back again with another video for you guys. And this video would just be about a couple of products that I used um, while my hair was relaxed and products that I first bought when I did my big chop. So all of these stuff, I no longer use them, but I do use them in my best friend's hair because she doesn't care about what goes in her hair as long as her hair is blow dried, flat iron, and bone straight. Because that's how she like it. She's actually natural. She has um very curly, kind of loose, um, I'm not sure what type hair that is. And I'm sure if I tell her, she wouldn't care. Like, I don't even care what my hair type is either. I just need for my hair to get healthy, if you know what I mean. Some people get caught up in the whole thing of, what? What's my hair type? What's my hair type? Yada, yada, yada. It's like, just worry about getting it healthy, then figure that out later. If you know what I'm saying. So, uh, let's start. Um, um, let's see. I'm just going to go off the top of my head, you know. And so, I'm going to start with um, Smooth and Shine Polishing Curling Mousse. That's this right here. And it has a oval oil in it. Um, this was like $3.49. I used it about one to twice. Don't quite remember um, how it felt in my hair. I'm sure that it felt weird and uncomfortable and disgusting that it's just like off to the side now. I don't use it. Okay, the next thing is Fantasia Icy Shea Butter Oil Moisturizer. Now, I bought this when I was relaxed. And I'm like, oh, shea butter, oil moisturizer. Oh, I'm all for it because it says drench your hair. I mean, drench your dry, thirsty, damaged hair. It smells awesome. When I say it smells awesome, it smells awesome. Like, I'm going to go smell it right now because I just have to. Oh, sorry. Don't you hate that? You go smell something and it goes in your face. It reminds me of, like, banana and citrus and, you know... Oh, I know what it smells like. It smells like key lime pie. And I know that key lime pie, it, I mean, it tastes good. But it also smells good. It smells like key lime pie with, like, banana or some kind of citrus. And it's kind of watery. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's quite watery, you know. It just smells really good. I mean, as you can see, it was, like, down to here. I did use it every time I washed my hair. I put it in my hair even though it made my hair feel a little bit weird. I still used it. It is what it is. Sometimes you do stuff like that and you just don't know why. And the next thing is this. Hawaiian Silky Miracle 14 in 1. Now, I think it's somewhere down here. I did use it, but when I had bought this, I specifically bought this for my braids. When I did um, at least once or twice a year, I actually get... um. I get deep bulk individual braids. I either get them during the summer or the winter. That's just how I did it, strangely enough. Um, during the summer, I did it because I would get perms. And then, like, the next two days, I would actually sweat it out and my roots would be curly. That's just happening to my perm in my hair. I kind of find it pointless to be perming my hair after a while. And the perm would just sweat out and my hair would turn back curly like how it was before. Almost like my hair was rejecting the perm. As I was getting older so I use this for my individual braids I would put this in my hair and I would braid it to hold the waves and it did a great job it smells great and it, it's not greasy I've seen women on YT use this on their natural hair I haven't tried it yet maybe I should I will one day and if I do I'll let you guys know how that worked if it worked for me because remember not everything works for everyone so I had this and I also used these for like all my styling. I don't know if you can see all that. I used Dr. Miracles. And it's a soft and sheen, like a style protecting foam against heat. I also did this one, Mazani. Now, all of these, this one's a heat styling foam. You use this when you wrap your hair and roll this at your hair. And this one you use if you want to flat iron or blow dry. I also used it when I did choose to blow dry my hair to protect my hair from the heat. 
and this one is also the same thing you use it for a roller set and blows out or whatnot when my hair was relaxed I hated getting my hair blow dried I'd rather wrap it wet or roll aesthetic something about blow drying really turns me off I don't know why I guess I just don't like the way it look like whatever I'm sure I'll get over it <laughs> and also this is something that I bought when I first big chopped short what is it pink short looks this is the styling spray now this styling spray it helped maintain your hair balance add shine it prevents dryness and buildup it's kind of thick spraying out the bottom it's kind of crazy but this is also like a gel that they go together you use them together and I actually used this when I had my extensions again I'd put a little bit of my hair twist it up and it would hold the waves and it's all good I use this in my natural hair before don't quite remember the experience the same thing with this these two not in my ballpark so that is that those two and this I got this when I first big chopped and I bought it the same time that I bought the that spray the short looks pink short look spray and I guess I was just so excited to like oh I'm gonna buy some stuff to see what works for me and this must have caught my eye because all I saw was cream moist curl cream calms frizz and flyaways defines curls and creates flowing waves restores moisture and balance and the brand is wet and wavy right I'm on home and I'm like let me read let me see what I got I get home and I am mad as hell I look and I'm like wait a second this says for synthetic and natural hair weaves I was upset for a good two three days y'all y'all don't understand I was like irritated and I said to myself, what the hell am I going to do with this? And I thought to myself, wait a second. I do have wigs that are wavy and curly. I could definitely use that. And I have one more thing that just, ugh, I don't even know why I picked it up, y'all. Like, something must have been, my day must have been real bad for me to pick this product up. Like, it just makes me want to gag. BB, oil moisturizer, hair lotion with castor oil and aloe blow drying conditioning grooming it works maximum strength four ounces more y'all see this now I've seen people use this when I was younger and I always thought hmm it must really work a lot of people are using it hmm I don't know about all that but I come home and once again I'm reading it and I'm like wait a second second I'm reading it I said oh all of this sounds great sounds awesome and then I get to the bottom the first ingredient is a uh, purified water the second ingredient is canola oil the third ingredient is sorbitan then castor oil gets put in like seriously shouldn't castor oil be the first thing or at least the second castor oil is like a little bit more down I'm not feeling safe about all of that and it's pink I don't know if you can see that it's pink like pink lotion um the smell smells like a baby and I used it in my hair about twice obviously when I first big chopped and it left white residue all over my head that I had to wash my head all over again I'd be damned if I go through that again so this is just sitting here like I don't even know if I can give this to someone like I wouldn't even give this to them it's like so horrible but anyways those are the products that I used to use while I was relaxed or when I first big chopped I hope you guys enjoy the video um hopefully I have a next video coming up with the, the products that I do use now that I have been using for the last three months because I am three months natural um last week Friday I believe the 20th made it three months um super excited I feel like I just big chopped yesterday and it's three months already like time is flying think about it next week Wednesday I believe is December 1st we're already in December it's crazy anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget please rate comment and subscribe I would greatly appreciate it and I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving happy Thanksgiving happy turkey day happy gobble 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 um I hope everyone has someone to spend Thanksgiving with um and just be thankful for everything that you have, whether it's good or bad. It's what makes us. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.